Hi guys, uh, welcome to week number three of Civics and Economics, and uh, this week is you have one thing to do, and that is your business project. So usually on week three, if we were in the regular classroom, you would be doing your business projects as well. So um, nothing changed in too much in my class. Uh, let's just, I just want to take you over some of the things for the business project. Number one, um, be creative with your business. It can be a startup business. It can be something that you already have a business that's a side job. Okay. It could be something that simple as the twisty top on a Gatorade bottle. All right. So, uh, you want to think about what business, uh, you can literally get rich off of. I've been doing this for eight years, eight or nine years now at Joe McLean high school. I was kind of the first one to bring this into uh, McLean, and uh, I brought it from my other school that I was at. But there's been a lot of things that have made up, have been made off of this, and one of the things is um, uh, event, uh, what is it called? Uh, something Adventureland or something like that. That we have Mr. Stye teaches a form of this where you actually go and get creative for this. I've actually had a couple kids have actually created prototypes in my class from literally doing this project, which is really neat. Um, so just real quick here, as you go and you make your list, literally you can just do bullet points all the way down and answer the questions on the bullet points. The bullet points that I've given you are the bullet points that the Pennsylvania state guidelines are for creating a business startup, general business startup. Okay. Um, what qualifications will you require your workers in the business to have and the feas feasibility of making your business profitable? Okay, um, qualifications, how old do you want them to be? What type of education are they going to have? Uh, maybe you'll be running it by you and your friend or you and your family at first. It can be a general startup thing or you can have a couple workers uh, to tag some uh, responsibility on. Uh, conduct research on your industry. Who's gonna be your target market? Is it gonna be teenagers? Is it gonna be uh, snowboarders? Is it going to be fashion is it going to be whatever it may be okay who's your target market and what location can you best hit that market at okay so make sure that you're thinking about that you're going to go on zillow or some kind of website and you're going to find the exact location that you're going to use uh you might be able to go and uh do it in your basement okay but uh you're going to find the exact location but can you actually run a business from your basement and do these things well, that's going to be difficult um, as well. All right. Develop a full list of potential monthly expenses. I want them listed literally. Boom, 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 boom. 10 bucks for this. Uh, 150 a month for heat. This for this, 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 this to produce what I'm making and all different kinds of things. Literally list what you're doing uh, on for your sheet. Develop a full list of equipment and purchases required to start your business. Uh, business. Identify costs of each. Look up how much this thing's going to cost for you to produce, how much it's going to cost for you to make. Determine how many workers are going to be working for your business. List their duties. Uh, this is kind of piggybacking off of number one, but uh, you can kind of list that. List their duties, list the descriptions, education, so on and so forth. And then list the salaries and wages you're going to be paying them. And then you obviously have to calculate how much that's going to be on a month. Um, the secure financing one comes next. So once you've figured out kind of the cost of your business, um, you want to figure out uh, an overall total of how much it's going to start your business. All right, so there's a couple different things you could do. Number one, you could go and find a shark, okay, like Shark Tank. Somebody uh, of a family member that's really rich that will, you'll give them a percentage of your business if they give you money. I've had kids uh, flip have a house, flipping houses uh, was one of their businesses and they had a really rich uncle and they actually uh, emailed me later back uh, a couple years um, or about a year ago um, after they were done having my class and graduated and they had actually made a, quite a bit of a profit off of doing his business project. So these can be profitable if you take them seriously, okay? And a lot of kids have made some money. I've had a girl last semester, she actually took a business she's doing now and made it better. So if you are going to take a business that you're doing now, please take that business and, and make it better than what it already is. Um, so uh, what bank will you be going through if you don't have a shark, if you don't have a family member that's rich? 
uh, you can go ahead and get on uh, one of the local banking websites, PNC Northwest, and look up uh, business loans and interest rates. You might want to try to find the best interest rate and see how much it's going to cost you to get a loan out to just begin your business, how much that is. could be 120000 to 300000 whatever it may be. And once again, remember, we're just kind of doing this in general to see how much these things actually cost uh, to be able to do. This is another path that you guys can take to be successful in your life. Um, establish record-keeping procedures for financial management, marketing, personnel, and maintenance. Do you want secretaries? Do you want people helping you? What kind of people are helping you? Um, everybody will be given general liability insurance at $123 a month, okay? Once you've figured out everything out, it should be over two pages long, okay? Um, if it's not, you're missing something because you should have things listed. You should have your monthly expenses listed. It's almost like you got a sheet, and here's my sheet. This is how much money everything's going to cost. This is a rough draft of how it's going to start my business, okay? Um, summarizing future plans, um, five points. Explain where you will be to take your business in the future. Example, are you going to sell things online? Are you going to expand? Are you going to create multiple shops or offices? Are you going to expand uh, somehow, some way? Do you want to go to bigger companies and try to sell it to bigger companies? Visual strategy. How are you going to reach your customers? Um, you can create a flyer, a brochure, poster. Um, be creative when you do this. I've had a lot of cool things. I've had actually kids actually create their prototypes and actually bring their prototypes in. Uh, I know you can't really do that, but um, you could and send me pictures of it if you wanted to do something like that. But um, make sure it's attractive. Don't give me something that's sloppy, that's not going to be visually attractive, that's not people aren't going to buy, okay? So make sure you do that. Uh, if you look on the second page, grading scale, um, checklist for business startup, 40 points. Um, so I believe there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, four points a qu for, per question uh, when we talk about the checklist for the business startup. So if you don't answer one of those properly, you're going to miss four points on that. Communica communication strategy, make sure it's good. It is worth 10 points. Okay, make sure it's good. Make sure it's explained what your product is. I just don't want a picture with no title or of the business. or I don't have any idea what that business is. Okay, and then the future plans, five points. Uh, you have a total of 55-point assignment this week. Take your time on it. It's due Friday. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, once again, shoot me uh, shoot me uh, a message through Schoology and we can figure that out. Okay. And I'll try to help you the best I can. Um, hey, guys. Have a great week. Um, stay safe and uh, stay home. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.